in a pickup game with a classmate. The classmate kind of recruited him to start playing volleyball. And the rest is history. Now he's in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Imagine that. Not a bad pickup game. Yeah. Back set. Bateman finds the freshman, but she's dug. Good defense from Stanford. And Kleinman finds a spot in the corner. Both teams have hit very well in this one. The Stanford dropped below 300, but right there, both teams in set number three hit very well above 300. And just little things, a couple of extra service errors for USC. That is for them. A couple more aces for Stanford. It's a close one. Carly Wopat, seven kills today. The freshman out of Santa Barbara, California. She's been terrific. Jupiter into the block. Quick middle inside. Lauren Williams puts it away. These two teams trying to get back in that championship mix. Stanford has been to the national championship semifinals three of the last four years, but they haven't had a title for a while. They're seeking their seventh. USC has four. They're going for number five. And both of these teams have been so relevant to women's college volleyball, but it's been a while since they've won. Stanford hasn't won the national championship since 04. It's a little bit of a drought for both programs, but with so many talented players looking to get back in the mix. Uh, their recruiting classes have been spectacular. This freshman class for USC, number one recruit class, and the freshman for John Dunning and Stanford, the third best recruit class. A lot to look forward to with both of these teams. And you're right, the Pac-10 as a whole, they've won five of the last nine championships, but they haven't had a win since Washington did it in 2005 when State stepped in, Nebraska was in there for a year. Four Pac-10 teams still alive with a chance to go to the national championship. These two here, Cal and Washington, play later tonight. And another great spot. Kleinman really working that back corner. Gives Stanford a two-point lead. Alex Kleinman talking to the official. What a beautiful save by Ailes. That allows Kleinman to go right down the line, gets it past the double block. She just turns her body, gets the slice. USC trying to stay relevant here in this match. They lost twice in the regular season to Stanford. Have they made progress? The young freshmen, three freshmen start on this Trojan team. Have they grown up enough to overcome Stanford's big three seniors trying to get a national championship for the first time in their career? On paper, Holly, USC has gotten better. All of their numbers have gotten better throughout Pac-10 play into the NCAA tournament. And I think you can definitely see some major improvement with this team. And that freshman right there, Fallon for Neumoana. 17 kills hitting 441. And a double hit. Trying to set out of system, Katie Fuller, not normally a setter, as you can tell from that attempt. Got to make the smart decisions. You know, Stanford, we think of them as being such a veteran team, but other than those three seniors, they have 10 of their 14 players are freshmen and sophomores. But they look to those seniors. The seniors kind of help them understand this is the way you should be doing things. This is how you should be feeling while you're out here. The emotions, the up and down. Cassidy Lickman, one of those seniors, told us that we were so upset after we lost in that regional semifinal last year. We had a different work ethic. We worked harder in the spring and the winter. And the freshmen came along, took into that leadership, and, and joined those seniors. Nick Haley's finding that for his freshman as well. They have bought into the system. What he expects, the competitive nature, you're seeing it right there. You can see Fanoi Moana say, keep working. The freshman showing some leadership as well. And another point gives USC the lead by two. There's been no breathing room. Other than set two, when USC jumped out to that big lead, it has been point for point a fight here in Dayton. One run, and that was SC. Back row, 
Kleinman just misses coming out of that back row attack. Not completely Alex Kleinman's fault, though. The set from Cook was a little bit low, and once she starts the approach from the back row, she had to go with it. USC opens up a three-point lead here in set number three. Excuse me, set number four. They lead Stanford by three. USC leads Stanford by three here in the fourth set. Here's an overall view of what's happened in the NCAA tournament. Penn State seeking their fourth straight national championship. They are one of two Big Ten teams left in the field after a record eight teams made it originally. But the Pac-10 really showing their strength with four teams still left. But the big shocker for the first time since seeding began a decade ago, the number one and two seeds not advancing to a regional final. Yeah, number one, Florida, so such high expectations. They were in that one spot for so many weeks in a row. Such a shock when they went down in three sets to Purdue yesterday. But I looked it up, just hoping to give Mary Wise something to be cheerful about today. She's only got three seniors. And Kelly Murphy, one of the Player of the Year candidates, just a junior. Florida will be back. They've been the number one team most of the season. And although they got the three set upset against Purdue, they'll be back. They will definitely be back. And Nebraska, the number two seed, the loss for them to Washington, an unseeded team. But they're playing on their home court as well. Jessica Walker has been quiet. We haven't seen much from her since she was so effective in set number one, but she finally gets on the board there and closes within three for Stanford. Back row, Jupiter, and the block is there in the middle. It's the freshman rope out and the senior, Lickman. Lickman always seems to be involved in those big plays. Just a smart decision maker. You can see her feet moving. She's reading that, is gonna go left. No, she goes to the middle. Miscommunication for Neumilana. Too much on that swing. And the point goes to Stanford. They're back within one. John Dunning's team in Stanford, they have been in lapses where they are trying to go to the same players over and over again. When they've mixed it up, they've stopped those runs from USC. You can see their strategy trying to serve for Neumilana more and more and force her to pass. Seem to work on that one. Putting the pressure on the freshman. So USC calls a timeout. We are all tied up nine apiece here in set number four. Stanford leads USC two sets to one. Welcome back to the first of four regional finals tonight presented by Enterprise Winter Car. We've got all kinds of volleyball action continuing tonight, but nothing getting more exciting for what we've got going on here at the University of Dayton. Stanford leads it two sets to one, but we are going back and forth for a chance to get to Kansas City, who will go to the national semifinals. Action starts on Thursday. A win tonight will send them to the national championship. And you can see a clear strategy now. They are continuing to serve the freshman, Fenoy Moana, to try to slow her down. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting play as they're going to shift around now and move her over. Smart decision making, though. There's Gabby Ailes, the senior libero from Stanford, goes back with that float serve. They get the touch at the net, and that's why they're trying to slow her down, because she has been unstoppable at the net. 21 kills now for the freshman out of California. Right down the middle, Wopat. Now here's Jupiter for USC. Williams finds a seam. The freshman gives Stanford a one-point lead. Key shots, Rachel Williams, number six, the six-foot freshman. Don't hear much from her, she's kind of a quiet player, but it's so important to weave her into the offense. Rickman on the jump serve, effective. Kanoi Moana wins the service back immediately for USC and ties it up at 11. 
How about Alex Jupiter? Just phenomenal, beautiful pass starting in the back row and just great hops. She gets that one because the double block hadn't come together. Gets up and over him. Ringo on the serve. Checks in for USC, but here's Jupiter way outside. Down the pipe she comes, climbing with her 21st kill of the match. That is self-defense, get out of the way of that one. And that's what they had tried to do earlier before the timeout. The set was a little bit off. That one was exactly where Alex Kleiman likes it. The senior Pac-10 Conference Player of the Year. The ESPN the Magazine Academic All-American of the Year. Kleinman doing it all for this Cardinal team. Here she is again off the block, but no. Here comes USC. Jupiter swings, but the ever steady Ailes is there. Kleinman tries to mix it up. Back and forth we go. Kleinman rejected at the net. The Trojans keep it alive with a wild rally. But Kleinman finds the seam again, goes angle for the point. The composure by the seniors for Stanford. What a rally because there were some beautiful saves on both sides, but Kleinman gets it done. She had four or five attacks during that rally. All four or five different types of swings. That shows you the versatility of this outside hitter for Stanford. Back set, Spellman in the corner. Three-point lead for Stanford, and Mick Haley has seen enough. Calls a timeout for the Trojans. 